in terms of getting clear, clear chances. I could think of a few uh, where Anela hit the post through a set piece. I got a header as well, it was more of a half chance. So those were the chances that could make a difference in the game. But on the day, they were good, they won the game and it gave us a big knock. It's a good result knowing that we were 10 points behind and winning that one, you we were know, 7 points behind. And we were still sticking to our process, trying to collect maximum points and trying to follow our program. We found ourselves leading the game. We considered and then throughout the game we found ourselves chasing the game and the attitude of never say die, where it happened that Madisha helped us through the corner. So that's maturity, able to fight until the end, knowing that we have to finish on top doing what he always does best, taking penalties. When he steps up, it's always going to be a goal. It was very unfortunate to see uh, a very good guy got injured in that manner. And we just have to wish him well, wish him speedy recovery because the team needs him. You are a busy month where you can't easily prioritize, but there are games that are big. You can say nothing, like the Al-Akhli game. It's a big game. It will always be in the back of our minds whilst we're doing the net bank, whilst we're doing the league. So it's a busy month. We are in a very difficult position at this point in time where you have to win every game and sometimes it's not practical. But unfortunately, the reality is that we have put ourselves in a backlog position on the league that you have to win all the time because a draw doesn't help you, a loss doesn't help you. You go for broke because you want to catch up with the log leaders. So our matches in the league are cup finals, everyone. We have injuries, like Tapello that we all know. It's a setback, that one, because we're losing for the rest of the season. We had Langaman who was out. He started training today, much better. We have Anele who's out for long, three to four weeks, if I'm not mistaken. And you lose Tapello and Langaman. You lose the two right back at the same time. How bad luck can that be? We've been training Nico for the week. I think we should give him a chance and see how it goes. If it doesn't work out, we'll put Madisha there at right back. He's not also right back, but he has done it before. It's a game of a lot of injuries and emotions, but uh, it's a professional sport and this happens when you overload in terms of games and when you're fighting to win everything, it always becomes a problem. So we have now uh, Chipa, a team that is very difficult for us. It is that team that always gets a draw out of us. They make us drop two points and it's not going to be easy and they've been on form, so you've got to go for it. The Chipper match came in a very good time for us where we had a week break in between. We had an off day, so I think it came at the right time where we had enough time to prepare for that match. I was so excited to see young Nico came, you know, in a match of that nature, a pressure match ready to come and even score an early goal in a match. That was brave of him to take a ball running from that far, going all the way and even score the goal. When I won the ball, I saw a whole lot of space, so I decided to go there. At first, I thought I was going to go with the ball, and then when I get there, I saw Gaston running on my left, and I thought I was going to give him the ball and score. Once I saw the defenders backtracking, I was like, nah, there's space, so then I took the shot. Chipa had to respond, and they responded very well by trying to cancel our lead, putting enough attack up front and exposing themselves a little bit at the back. Gave us an opportunity to score the second goal. I can't complain about the goals. We got three and the chances that we create, we want to finish them. And we did finish the chances, which was positive. And we were happy with the three points. And this is the time of the season where, you know, it's not easy to score three goals against any opponents in the PSL. So we want our front guys to be on top of their game. So to see them scoring goals, it was uh, positive for the team.
we launched the new Hyundai i30N, which is our um, performance model. First time launched in Africa. We had to include Sundowns because Sundowns is our partner and it wouldn't be right to have a launch like this without our Sundowns team players. We brought everyone out to the winelands in Cape Town. We love those routes because they're very windy. You get to test the car and its performance. We also went through some tunnels so that the players could experience the sound of the car. I think it was a really good demonstration of what the car's performance was. So what we had today was hot laps, which is where the players and anyone here could um, drive around with a professional driver. I think they really enjoyed that because they went as fast as, I don't know, 200 kilometers. I think they really enjoyed that. I saw some of them screaming a bit and we measured their heart rate. I'm not saying who was screaming, but it wasn't an easy exercise. The test driving with the i30N, what an incredible feeling to be going around. Firstly, we got coached on how to take the corners, going closer to the cone and the sharp bends, obviously teaching us how we maneuver around all of that. And then we got our first hand experience of the professionals of how they do it. And man, oh man, was I impressed, but at the same time, so, so scared and nervous. I was sweating profusely and it was scary, I must say. But one of the best experiences of my life, definitely Hyundai, the i 30 is one for the future, a really incredible car. The look of it, the experience we had on the track, off the track, getting to drive it ourselves was really incredible and overall awesome day that we really enjoyed. I think a lot of the guys, when they get in the car with a female driver, they automatically presume that we can't really drive cars. <laughs> so it's nice to see the reaction from the guys in the car and knowing that we are capable of driving really fast around a racetrack. We've obviously been doing it for a really long time, so it was nice to give our feedback to them and help them progress through the day. So yeah, it was nice that you guys took our advice and I think we egged you along to get a little bit quicker around the track. And it's nice, obviously, for you guys to do something a little bit different to playing soccer. So it was a great experience overall and we had a lot of fun with you guys. I think they were very cautious at first, which is always nice. They didn't just go out there and attack it straight away, but obviously that comes from being involved in different sports. You got to listen to your instructors and you guys got taught how to play. So you've had to take advice from other people to get to where you guys are. And it's the same as being on track. You took our advice and obviously progressed throughout the day. I think the players particularly enjoyed this event because it's just a nice way for them to just have fun, relax a bit, take their mind off the game for a little bit. And I think just knowing what I know about soccer players, they really do appreciate high performing cars. No, it's definitely a decent breakaway to have from training our everyday, day-to-day -day lifestyle. But again, thanks to Sundowns, thanks to Hyundai for the partnership, the collaboration that they have. It's really awesome and it's amazing to be part of this big brand. The show must go on, we need to get back to what we always do, what we love to do, what we bring the masses of supporters out to come and support us for. So we're just looking forward to the next game and to win.
Bloom Celtic, an unpredictable team that just scored four goals against Amazulu. Always a problem also for us, but sometimes we win these games, you know. So far we're doing well. We progressed to the quarterfinals of the Nedbank Cup. We've closed the gap to the log leaders and also we're in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. For now it's going good and just hope that the momentum keeps going until the end of the season. So with the Celtic match, I think we started very, very well. It worked out for us where we pushed the team back into their half. Everybody in the team responded very well in terms of uh, you know, trying to pressurize the opponents. And we did. We even scored a goal in the first 15 minutes. Finding Botani. Those two looking to play it out in the end. They played themselves into trouble. Lovely reverse ball. Zwane! Should be! What no money that he sent out! It's always challenging to see a team that plays with a break. We need to play a different game against them because we have to make sure that if every time we lose the ball, we counterpress them so that they mustn't come out of their half with those long passes, which they're going to travel us because we're opening the space behind, obviously. We are home, we are aggressors, we have to play like a home team. The midfield, we had to be on their toes every time because we are the ones who start the play, we are the ones who have to break the play every time. So it was good to see Andile and Gaston always on the move because we needed Gaston to be on the ball because he creates movements for us, he creates chances for us, he can pick a pass. And it was good to see Lebo also play on the wing again and he was working hard for the team always keeping on the four and the midfield. He created so many chances for himself. He got the chance that I thought he was going to score, but he missed that one. I can't fault anybody on that match. I just have to be proud of the performance they give the boys. Going forward, I think if we give such performances, we see the light at the end of the tunnel. They, they'll knock the ball around as if they're going nowhere for the most part. And then suddenly, there's the one moment. Look, there's the moment. Such a goal before! And it's the miss of a fan to level matters right on the half hour mark. We went to half time with 1 1. We had a strong belief that we will come back and score one or two goals. We just didn't want to settle for a draw, which, second half came, we created two beautiful chances before 60 minutes, which we came out of the change room knowing very well that we we're going to create those chances. It's not an easy game to play. As much as Bloemfontein is always giving us hard time on the fixtures, you know, we never win easily against them. With Mabena always scoring against us, they made us sweat for the points. We worked hard, but they never set back. They matched us pound for pound, and it was that game that we had to seal it. But the captain came up and raised his hand, and he's got a beautiful free kick. What a free kick. As he looks for the corner! Overall performance, I think we fought in that match. We, we never even gave enough time to even breathe. We, we went all the way, we gave ourselves to the team, we gave every inch to the team. That's a performance that we're really going to need this time of the season, especially in the last matches that we're going to play. The Netbank Cup, you know, if you lose one match, you're out. So also, it's a cup final. We are very concerned that we're playing a team that we don't know much about them. These kind of teams, they are very tricky, they are very difficult to play against. I'm just positive about the match. I'm sure that we're going to take them. This season, every team is on high alert about the so-called smaller teams, especially the PSL teams. They want to give their A game. There's no such team as a smaller team. Everyone wants to win. It's a team that we don't know. He normally calls them at Rosebrook. We'll give them the respect that they deserve. I mean, they beat Golden Arrows. It shows that they're a good side, so we'll give them the respect that they deserve. But at the same time, we also want to win the game. We also want them to respect us after the Yeah. We came up to the Nedbank Cup to honor the Nedbank Cup fixture against an amateur league team. But the performance was not amateur. The performance of those guys were pleasing to watch. They held on 0-0 at halftime. I 
think we just kept it simple. We played our style of play. We didn't put in too much about their game as well as we did check out their strengths. But we knew if we put our principles in place, the way we play, it should come out. And unfortunately, we couldn't score in the first half. But we knew what the longer the game goes, our experience will kick in and as well. And I knew with the fitness level as well, they weren't going to match us. And to top it off with experience, we should be able to get over the line. And we managed to score two goals in the second half. They didn't have the height that we have. And we had Bangali, we had Sammy, we had Sugar, myself. And we knew if we can just get the perfect ball in the box, we should cause problems. And fortunately for me, um, it came in the second half where Ali put in the ball. I just attacked it and I knew if I could just get contact to it, it would be a goal. That's what we did. Ball came in, got my head onto it and scored. I think sometimes we need to give space to youngsters, especially who are coming from our development. Nicolas had a good game against Chipper. We know how Nicolas is. He's still learning. He's still going to make a lot of mistakes, and we cannot crucify him. He's a young boy. He's still coming up. He needs our guidance. When the penalty came, I think I went to him. I said, no, don't worry. It's one of those things. Don't look down. Just continue with your game. I think as a goalkeeper, you just have to remain calm and concentrate, especially if you are playing with a team which you don't know much and there is a penalty and you don't know if that's their best penalty taker. Fortunate enough, the guy just hit the ball outside. My boy has got options, a little deflection. We scored through set pieces. And the second one was a, a cross that resulted into a loose ball in front of the goalkeeper. And Pakamani nicked it to make 2-0. Tough game, I must say, difficult game. But what's important is the cup game is to go through. And we went through, and that's what we wanted. In Kev, we've been playing very well. I think this season we haven't lost a game, you know, in the group stages. So I think that's a motivation for us. You know, when we go to Al Ahli, we just have to keep on doing what we've been doing. You know, when we play away games, we make sure that we try not to concede and uh, try to get a goal. Al Ahli is a big team. They know about us. We'll give them the respect that they deserve. But at the end of the day, we want to win. We want to go to the next stage. To see the people acknowledging us when we arrived at the airport, it just shows that we've left a mark in Africa. Whenever we arrived, I would tell people would acknowledge. Obviously, they're thinking about the past results. The way we treat them, also respect them. As two footballing countries, it's always good coming here. And I enjoyed it, and hopefully we can end up with a nice result as well. The pitch was not at its best, to be honest. But we have to prepare. We have to take whatever we have. There's no time for complaints. There's no time for all the good things to be there on the day. So we prepared, we trained well, more defense organization based on their attack. So today we're training based on the weaknesses of their defense. So we have to be appropriate. And it's difficult when we have to explain this thing, show footage of what's happening, the last eight games of Alakli and put them in, infuse the similarities on common trends of attack and defense and make the players aware of that common trend and train according to the trends of their attack, meaning train the defense, our defense in that space. The thing is, you must understand North African teams, they play different when they are home and when they are away. We have been in Champions League for five, six years, and we've played with North Africans. We know how they play when they're at home. We know how they play when they're away. 
That said, when they go away, they are more reserved, waste a lot of time. They are more adventurous when they are at home because they are being pushed by the support of the supporters. You know, you'll have the Zamalek supporters supporting us now because it's a rivalry happening here, Zamalek against Ali. So whoever comes up against Ali will have the support of Zamalek. Ali will obviously have the past results in the back of their mind. And obviously they would want to fix that. For us, we just need to forget about that result, about the 5 0 at Ridgeville, and focus on the new game because lots of new players, and it's going to be a very tough game. It's going to be physical, and obviously the crowd is going to come up in the numbers. The stadium will be packed. You know, it's that game where one must die, it's knockout phase. You need to put all in. So it's going to be a very tough game, and hopefully, come up on tops. The stadium, they always full, and we love it. We love, sometimes we love playing in full stadiums. It motivates us a lot. You know, playing in a packed stadium, it's players' dream to be always playing in a stadium which is full. So for us, when we come here, we are not intimidated. We are just here to do our business, and our business is to keep our principles of playing not forgetting the way we play. We have to keep our principles, and that is the first thing we always do. People, they're there to watch. We are playing 11 versus 11. Let's sort out each other inside the fields. Outside forces, we don't care. We are used to it now. Year in, year out, it's always exciting to play in Champions League, and the experience we get also rubs with the PSL. Playing in a packed stadium it always also gives you that feeling where you just want to keep going. You're entertaining the crowd and coming to watch two good teams play and just brings out the best in you. I think we went to our alley with a very big respect, knowing very well that we're not playing just any team, but the team of the century. And for us to go and give performance there, but in our back of our mind, we knew that we made history by beating them, but at the same time, that history can come and haunt us because the team can come and maybe look for a revenge. So you go in there with a very cautious approach, which we did, I think, in numerous occasions. And I think we managed to create few chances to which I thought we could have at least score one. Oh, well done, AJ. Chance here. Yeah. Goal for Al Ali. It's Ali Malul. I believe they worked so hard to try and get that first goal, which they did. And it really, really unsettled us because after scoring, that's when we realized that we need to make sure that we don't concede again. I would say the goal changed our plan, our approach, because then we have to try and open up and try to force them to go back, which didn't happen because he managed to get a penalty. He knew that that's our last option to touch the ball, and he just put the feet next to the ball. And when I touched him, he just fell, and I believe he worked hard for that penalty. The game overall went so well because uh, we planned a certain movement and they came out very well. And I believe had we scored that first chance, Lebu got in the first minute, that the game was going to be a different the whole 90 minutes because then they started panicking, they started kicking the ball from far, and which it was our plan really to really make sure that they don't settle on the ball and we press them in occasions where we force them to go backward. We took lessons out of that match and yeah, it was just a sad moment to see. It wasn't easy uh, in Cairo Stadium, but yeah, we tried. Okay, the marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs>